watch the recording, but let's get started. So how is everyone doing? We are on day three and we are we will be doing presentations today. So how are you doing? Any reaction, any comment in the chat box? That would be appreciated. So very few seconds for checking in. How are you doing? How are you ready for the presentations today? Any words? Okay, I can see a few reactions. That's going well. Okay, that's super amazing. So on my side too, I'm doing very great. It's uh, early morning today, so you know everything the day is going is starting well on my side. So very grateful for it. So let's get started. Um, let me make a few announcements first. Today we are going to be starting the presentations and I believe we have all submitted, if I'm not mistaken about that, but uh, we are going to be starting the presentations. Let me check the schedule again. For today, group two, group five, group eight and 11, they are going to be presenting today. And then for tomorrow, we have group one, group four, group seven, group 10 and 13. And then Friday, we will be having group three, group six, group nine, group 12, and group 14. And uh, one really good tip, uh, or as you have been reminded, is that everyone in the team is going to be presenting. Uh, no matter if you are team lead or not, everyone is going to be presenting. This will be graded on an individual basis, even though you are a group and you put everything together. So it's better to prepare yourself as an individual for the presentation. Like you have to be confident about everything. But I believe this is a reminder. You already know it and you already are ready. I believe so. I believe so. So second one is that uh, I really want you to fill this link for the birthday, for the sake of our CBS uh, and for the sake of really always remembering your special day and be able to celebrate with you. So here is the link. Um, let me share it quickly in the chat box. Please, if you can take a moment just to fill out the link, that would be highly appreciated. Then uh, the number three uh, announcement is that on Friday, we have something we call a hot seat. Hot seat is where we invite people from the staff, Tan Academy staff, and they come and have a casual conversation with us. So how it's basically done, we put them on hot seats. Like how I'm saying it, it's like a fire seat. We put them there on the spot and then uh, we ask them questions, any questions we want. And for this time, the first time around, it's going to be Arun. I hope you are excited for it. Any reactions, guys? <laughs> I hope, but I hope you are excited for it. It's going to be Arun, and we are going to be learning from him. Prepare your questions. It's going to be on Friday during CBS time, so we will not be having our normal CBS on Slack. We will be having it on Google Meet. It's going to be hot seat with Arun. You can prepare any question, personal or professional question you want to ask him. If you want to know how Tel Academy came up, how it has been performing any vision about it, anything, or if you are curious to know about what he does with his personal life outside at Tel Academy, that will be the time to ask. So it's always a fun moment with the hot seat. And of course, we will keep it like light conversational, but we have to keep it also fun. So yeah, and the crucial part about it with Arun, we are going to be having all all programs training us. So it's not going to be cohort B only. We are going to be having u 2 j people joining us. We are going to be having Kefia people uh, joining us. So it's going to be like an amazing session. It's going to be on Friday, 10 a.m. UTC during CBS time. I hope nobody misses it. I hope nobody misses it. Aaron himself is excited for it. We are also excited for it. And we hope you also get excited for it. Okay, uh, that is, I believe those are the announcements I had for today. So we can go ahead and get started. We are here with Rahmet or Emtina, uh, and they're going to be helping us with any question we have or any clarifications we need. So let's get started. Let's get some quick, sharp people who wants to share first. 
you can raise your hands as we always do. Let's see, let's be quick. Uh, you can raise your hands. We have two people already who have raised their hands or three, that is super amazing. And let's get people who normally do not really speak. <laughs> Please raise your hands. If you do not have any question, you can also update us how has been yesterday and how are you looking forward to today? So yeah, but in the meantime, let's start. Wandera, you can go ahead. Good morning, everyone. Um, we, are, uh, we have done relatively well with uh, the project. We're working, we're, we're working on the back end, but uh, uh, we have we, we have some. I think we have a few issues, but I'm not. Uh, I haven't really understood them very well, so I don't really know exactly what question to ask. But I'm going to uh, I'm going to talk to my team member, and then we discuss it properly, and then we can have the right question to ask. But my main question is about the presentations on the schedule. Our team, or given I don't know, like four hours. So I don't know, maybe that's probably an error. And then uh, what do we expect uh, in the presentation? Are we just like presenting? Are we going to just talk about what we have done with the project, like the report? Are we just going to, or should we, are we just going to present the report or should, should we make slides? So I want to know about that. Okay, uh, Rehmet or Imtina, you will take the second question. But with the first question, what was the question again? Your group, what era were you referring to? No, 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 no. Like there's an, uh, there's uh, an, uh, a few errors we're having, but we we had a meeting yesterday, but we just didn't really we haven't really gotten into deep dive into the issue. But when we meet again later after this this meeting, we're going to discuss it and then post out the the issue we're having on the on the Slack. It's just that um, last night, we were, last night we were really trying to work on the report and prepare for today. So okay. yeah, that's why. Yeah. Okay. All right. No. Okay. That makes sense. Thank you for clarifying. Um, so now, Rehmet, you can go ahead with the second one. Yeah. So uh, hello, everyone. So the question was about what is expected from you in the presentation, right? So first, uh, you are pre expected to prepare a slide. That's true. So prepare slides, please. The second thing, everyone in the team is, uh, is expected to speak. So uh, like, um, don't, no one is going to be sitting silent. Uh, what also expected is that you have to prepare to tell us about what you have done, um, like uh, what is uh, like um, anything you have learned, the insights. Uh, you you need to show us like um, your understanding and the code that you worked on. So like prepare something on that. You have thirty minutes, so like maybe five five minutes for each one, for each one uh, for each team member, and then there is time for questions. We expect everyone like we know that you divided the work a bit among yourselves in the team, but each one of you. Like uh, you have to have an understanding of the code that, that your other team member worked on. So you have to understand, of course, the code that you, you did or the part that you did, but you have to also understand the code and the part that your team members have worked on. So make sure that you understand every part of the, of the, of the project because you're going to be asked questions about every part of the project, basically. Um, so this is like uh, generally what is expected. Um, the, is this clear? Have you like? Yes, yes, it's clear. Yes. So please, uh, please uh, prepare slides. Prepare what you want to say. Uh, like uh, slides can be uh, points any result you have gotten. If you have any working um, demo, you can present that. Uh, but uh, again, make sure that everyone is going to speak. Everyone has to understand every part of the project and like expect to be asked questions about everything. So just, um, yeah, that's it. All right. Uh, thanks, Amtino, for, for clarifying that. Let's go ahead with a baby.
you hear me? Yes, we can. Uh, sorry, the I want I I was trying to my own team up for that board. That it is uh, working when I try to use uh, OpenAI to ask it out on the chat board, but when I configure it with my own schema, it's uh, ending in answer, the Rirash server uh, and it started, but when I try to access it using the local host in this port, uh, it's not uh, refreshing it, it's not running. Uh, it's not, I'm, I'm not uh, sure how to say it. it's working one time when I suddenly uh, started to my computer or something like that. Phone. And I'm uh, trying to troubleshoot this. Maybe uh, someone who can help. But uh, unfortunately, by now I can't uh, share the error because my, my laptop is uh, out of power. Maybe I can share after a while. I'm going to share. And I will share. I was I was sharing it before, but there was there were some suggestions for this. Uh, 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 Abibi, I was struggling to hear, hear you, but not sure if I'm Tina got you. I haven't. I, I didn't hear. Uh, okay. uh, uh, is that the problem with the uh, noise? Or? It's not noise. Like the the voice is like breaking. Uh, we don't hear you oh. very well. Okay. What about now? Um. Can Can you speak a bit? Can speak for a while because uh, you think it's a little better, but try again. Okay. Uh, I'll. Okay, uh, if it's okay now, I can speak, or if not, uh, I, I can write. No, 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 uh, try now. It uh, sounds okay. better now. Okay, yeah. I was saying I was saying that uh, I was trying to use my own schema for the research application, but it's working when I use the OpenAI uh, general knowledge, but when I configure it with my own code, uh, the server starts successfully, but when I come to the research dashboard, uh, the the last the last word is not displayed. It's like the uh, it's a connector or something like that. And now uh, and uh, before I I have successfully connected one time, but I don't know what I have changed it, and it become uh, like that again. And again. I am having this uh, problem. I if if someone ha can help me, I I will share the code the error code uh, after a while. Uh, now my laptop. As we have before, you can share. This was okay. what I was saying. If you mm -hmm. so, your question is sorry. Continue. My question is uh, my question is when I configure my own uh, schema for for the OpenAI, the Redux dashboard is not uh, up. Okay. So uh, my uh, okay, this is your problem. Uh, and you said you're going to share the error uh, on Slack. Yeah, yeah, but not now. I will go somewhere. Now I, I, I can't. I, I will carry it after a while. I will go. Okay. So, um, yeah. So it would be helpful to to see the error itself to to be able to to help. So yeah, let's do that when you can. And okay. yeah, all right. Just continue. Okay. Okay, all right. Uh, can we pass it to Hilary? Okay, thank you. Uh, good morning. Uh, so, uh, uh, so far as a, as a group, uh, as a as a team, we've been uh, we've been trying to work on the rest of the rest of the remaining tasks. So, uh, most of the time, I've been the one uh, dealing with the task uh, 
alone and uh, my teammate has been having issues with installations. So um, I'm, optim I'm optimistic that we can uh, share a complete uh, our project tomorrow. And um, I'm hoping to do that. I'm hoping we can resolve that. Uh, the other thing is that uh, yesterday for for I had a, I had trouble uh, sharing my my PDF uh, the PDF the PDF report. So I started writing my uh, documentation and report on Medium, and when I exported, um, it came with the other irrelevant material from Medium, including the uh, the recommendation posts and all. So. Um, I wondered if it was okay if um, if the grading should will be done on that or on my medium link. That is what what I'm asking. And I have like uh, three questions. Should I like just uh, ask uh, all of them once or um, I'll start with the first one. Uh, so um, I have a, I, ha I had a schema with uh, I I got schema from my database. I retrieved the schema from the database and I passed it to the chatbot. But I when when I asked the chatbot to to give me like a, a query from the database, uh, it it starts uh, coming up with like uh, different uh, the inappropriate column names like uh, adding a capital case uh, where where it's not supposed to have. And I'm wondering if that is the problem with prompt engineering because I I described it I described it what it should do well, and the other yeah perhaps um, maybe you can clarify on that first. Thank you. Emptina. Uh, yes, one moment. Um, uh, excuse me, one moment. I have to something. Like that. Sorry. All right. All right. Um. Hello. Uh. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we can. Yes, so uh, the question is about uh, um, is that, that you're facing that uh, the um, um, the generative model is coming up with with uh, with columns that are that are not there, so it's like making up stuff. Uh, and yes, uh, this is where prompt engineering comes into play. Yes, exactly. Uh, so ha have have you tried to uh, solve that issue? Have you tried the uh, like any strategy to 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 handle that? Yeah. So what I tried is uh, adding more descriptive uh, mess system message like uh, I do this. Uh, do not make up information. Uh, um, use the schema as it is, and and uh, I'm still getting uh, that it sometimes it sometimes gives the correct column, and then sometimes it. Sometimes makes, up, sometimes makes up sometimes makes stuff up yes okay so let's ask this question generally uh from that for your from your colleagues How, what other strategies have you tried to or have you solved this because like um you if you wanted to stick to the to the schema you have you you given it um what have you done like this is a general question because like um there are uh, is, there is no one answer, but uh, there are like uh, I guess there would be like multiple solutions to 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 solve this issue. Um, so I'm asking this just in general. Anyone like uh, if if anyone has a qu an, an answer, just like uh, unmute your mic and speak. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, go ahead. Okay, so I, I tried also to use the LangChain. I used LangChain, the framework, and uh, I uh, used the prompt template, uh, prompt template message uh, to uh, instruct the model how to use the uh, 
data, the table. Uh, I think it's uh, most of the time it's working. Uh, it's actually uh, gives me the column name, even the values. Uh, but they, sometimes uh, it might get wrong. Uh, maybe the SQL code or something like that. But most of the time it's uh, it's okay. But uh, what I did is I just give it. I uh, break down the instructions. And uh, I told him to where to look and how to answer. Uh, I think that's make it uh, better. Okay, so it's like a, it's a it's a prompt template that you got from Langchain. You think that is working um, uh, to to some extent? Like, uh, have you do you have like some kind of estimation how like how much of the time does it get? Like, it, is it like working like seventy percent of the time or? Is an estimation, or I think it's uh, ninety percent working. Uh, just uh, sometimes it's just a, a little bit uh, problems when I chat uh, for a long time. But most of the time, I think it's working. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, uh, anyone else? Thank you. Just want to hear from That's. Um, Thank you for this answer. Anyone else? Uh, okay, so um, uh, so just to, to move on because like maybe like uh, this this conversation can we can continue on the stack as well, uh, just not to take up uh, much time from here. But uh, there might be uh, like um, uh, like several solutions, like uh, or like you can try uh, first, like you can try multiple prompts. Um, as Javis was was using a particular prompt from 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 Lankain. but uh, if that's not 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 all, you can put some kind of uh, um, uh, as I say, um, expect that you might get um, and and uh, a wrong like um, yeah, expect this kind of uh, wrong. Of wrong answer from from the AI, and put some guardrail for for that to 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 like protect from it or to like uh, make it like uh, re regenerate again in that case uh, automatically. Um, let me think. I also like uh, yeah. Oh, if anyone else can think of of some other solution that would be good as well to share on Slack. Uh, if you face this or how you solve it. Uh, okay, great. Hillary will start this conversation on Slack. Please, everyone who has some idea or like think about something, look, uh, search. Also, you can look uh, online and see if you can find the resources. That would be good to share also there. Great. So let's move on to the next question. Thank you, Hillary. Thank you, everyone who like, have Yapis for your answer. So. Uh, let's see who's next. Uh, Yusuf, go ahead. Yes, um, hi. Um, good morning. So, um, my my group is asking if um, we could push our presentation by uh, a date or maybe to Friday. Um, is it possible? Uh, okay, um, let's see, uh, let's ask, uh, do you want it to, to uh, do you have like a particular reason for that? Uh, yeah, 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 we have a particular reason. Uh, uh, we were, first of all, uh, we're the first group um, and um, we aren't ready, to be honest. Uh, another reason is because uh, we are quite behind in terms of uh, our integration uh, of the uh chatbot and the redash uh, uh okay uh, so maybe you can uh state this like uh, what is your reasons if you are facing any technical issues and stuff in uh i i'm just like uh for that you write this in your maybe your group and your um 
like uh, your group chat in in slack and uh, um uh and mention rodis and uh, and other uh, tutors just to see like uh, if we can actually um um uh, if we can like um make this or make it, uh, like um accommodate this uh, for you i'm i'm not sure but we'll um, just just write everything down and like uh, mention us on your slack group okay, okay. Right. great um any other questions you don't see any hands yeah yes yes okay my question is on the presentation uh, so we have to prepare one uh, presentation slide for the group and sh should we present uh, one presentation slide uh, one by one uh, all the presentation slide how is that going to uh, how we should should we do it well there is no particular organization that we want like we we were going to force on you like you can um what we, what we want is all of you to present like each one has to speak for like five minutes okay how do you do that it's up to you like you can prepare one um big uh, like uh, divide uh, the project maybe each one of you can talk about what they did but please as i yes i emphasized before please every one of you has to have an understanding of what everyone did um so um so yeah so like uh, think about this just like everyone in the team has to present what they did uh explain it you can prepare like uh, yeah one a presentation on like um one uh um slides uh like uh, um, for for the whole team but every one of you you could present um that's it so like uh, is there is no does this answer your question great uh yeah so i i want to emphasize this again please be prepared because we want to we wanted to have like uh like you want to have the experience of having a professional professional kind of presentation so be prepared think about what you're going to present prepare slides but you can also like present uh, parts of your code and a demo if you want if you have something like ready um uh if you if you if you are like uh, to uh, to like you can think about also these are just suggestions uh if you you can think about also to avoid any technical issues happening during the presentation you can prepare maybe a video or a small video of like your your demo working um something like that this would be also good just to present that you have something that worked um uh, of course, like, uh, but the main thing that I have to stress that you, or oh, everyone in the team has to speak for five minutes, and everyone in the team has to have an understanding of of the whole project, so that you are going to be asked questions about everything. So just be prepared for that. Like uh, right now, from now till your presentation time, make sure that like you understand every what every one of you in your team have done, and have like prepared uh, among yourselves to have like this organization of the presentation, uh, have it down so that you can you can present. Um, and it's like in the end, this is an experience because like you are going to have another challenge, another group challenge where we also going to have this extended presentation as well. Um, so like, this is the first experience we expect you to learn from this so that like by the end of the training you are really comfortable you know how to prepare a professional presentation are you really comfortable to doing it okay so yeah do your best uh, I hope it's clear for everyone um, any questions <laughs> Any other quick question, please? All right, Hilary. My question is, uh, what, are, what, are, uh, what are you supposed to 
what kind of resources are we supposed to share on Slack? So uh, let's say I encountered an, a, a challenge and I solved it. And can I share, am I allowed even to share the code that I did, did and the steps to resolve that specification? Because I, uh, let's have been seeing many having the, some some kind of similar challenge or um, will that bring like similarity in code and and uh, and will and will be an issue uh, i don't understand the last part similar what is bring similarity of code an issue what uh, like uh, um, like yeah. people will be having the same kind of code and uh and it will be just like uh copying some code copying someone else code so yeah so let me understand so you want to say like within the within your presentation there is a challenge that you faced while like <clears throat> during this project and you want to like uh, do you are asking like can you comment on it can you show like the challenge you faced and how you solved it uh, no uh, what i mean is before the, before even the presentation is like that it, let's say I was, i'm doing i'm i'm in a process of doing the project and uh there's a challenge that people have been uh, having let's say uh connecting to data to the to postgres and and the connection says uh the table doesn't exist so to to fix it like uh let's say i found a solution and i share the code will that be yeah uh, so will that be an issue we so you share the code with your colleagues like uh on let's say on slack yes. the general channel or maybe and this would be even better if you like wrote a, a small blog about this issue and how to solve it and share that even like for for the general public not only your, your colleagues that is actually encouraged it's not a problem it's, a, it's encouraged that you do that helping each each other like everyone in the in this um, in this uh, training but also like also publishing it because this is show is it shows like what you do how you thought about it and how you solved it about this is this reflects on you personally but also like this is like the, this is a perfect um, uh, spirit of collaboration really so no it's not a problem that you're going to have the same kind of code because you've solved the problem the same way no it's not a problem is that a question yes that's okay. so uh, yes so it is the opposite of this hesitation it's the opposite of the what we want it's actually very much encouraged that you do that and yes i'm also encouraging you not only to write the solution on slack if you have time write it actually in a blog in like if you have a medium account write it write a blog a short one if it's like a small thing and then uh, publish it just like generally so that everyone can find the solution and it would have your name this is going to be useful for you because like uh, when people employers post potential employers will look up your name and like it will, if you linked for your like yeah, medium account or the, if they you look up your name they will find this uh, like technical um uh blogs under your name and it's going to be like good for your for for you for you as well for your building of your reputation that you have like this technical understanding so it's good all around um okay. what i'm saying okay thank you um, yes so thank you in advance for whatever is going you are going to share uh any other questions Okay, and Tim, any question? Please don't leave with any question, really. This is the time to ask. Even if you feel like it's the smallest question, please ask. Okay, we go once. Uh, yeah, so another thing that I wanted to say, sorry, uh, Pascaline, to interrupt, but yeah, um, another thing about this sharing whatever solution you had um, on, uh, sometimes uh, like you can see people struggling with something and you have found a solution, sharing it, you are helping other people, but also it's it, it can happen that you also get some help as well, because whatever solution you have arrived at might be not the most efficient 
or might be like uh, like there are something like you're still missing so sharing it again you can get some feedback from your colleagues who are working on the same thing and uh, of course also publishing it on online you're so it's possible that you're also going to get some feedback so this is another <laughs> positive thing about it about sharing it that's just like a, i wanted to make a further emphasis on it um go ahead pascal insert yes hello so my first question i uh, wasn't, wasn't addressed I, uh, about, Sorry, yeah, okay. about yesterday's some um, uh, submission i submitted that uh, i i wrote first my my report on medium and i i done i printed as pdf and but it had uh, some other irrelevant information like uh, recommended blogs and all so uh, i had a challenge like getting it uh, the right way like like a uh, like a pdf document that's written on google docs or something so uh, what i'm asking is like will will that be used for for, for grading or uh, can the medium link be used for that um okay so you can uh, aren't you able to submit a link um, a medium link directly yeah, yeah um so i i realized later i can submit a medium link uh but so i had i had first of all the first time i had the only option of a google drive link and i refused for medium but later on like after deadline i saw there was a button for attachment to attach a different link but i submitted the link uh in on a private comment uh as a private comment okay so yes um uh for the for the for yes um so it's not a problem it's just uh, to the final answer it's not a problem that you have like a copied it and made it to into like a pdf even with few other like this other stuff in the page that's fine um so it's not going to be a problem as long uh, also like uh, if you made a mistake in any way and you can like um submit the right uh, um link in in a private comment that also helps but if there is an issue if you 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 said that it's working now so but if you are facing an issue submitting like the medium link directly you can like uh, uh, like in the future we can ask uh, on the t uh, 10x team um, channel or like uh, uh, someone like can mention someone from the Telex team to to help you with that because you are supposed to be able to submit your medium link directly. Um, okay, uh, but for now you don't have a problem. It's it's, it's going to be fine. Uh, um, okay, any other questions? Okay, if we do not have, have any other questions, then we can call it uh, a meeting and then go ahead and focus on our today's uh, schedule that we have and uh, also prepare for the presentation and let's ensure that we all attend. Um, yeah, that is it. Thank you everyone for joining. Have a great day moving forward.